Police are still looking for the suspects in a fatal hit and run in San Jose. Plus, Morgan Hill residents faced with roaming wild pigs in their neighborhoods. That and more coming up. Hi everyone, Diana San Juan here. We're gonna start out with some heartbreaking news out of the South Bay where a woman and her newborn died after a hit and run crash in San Jose. This happened late Tuesday in the area of Blossom Hill Road and Winfield Boulevard. Police say the mother was taken to a hospital where she died. Doctors were able to successfully deliver the baby, but sadly, police later announced the baby also died. Officers are looking for two male suspects who were in a stolen car. After the crash, they were seen running away from the scene. Anyone with information is asked to contact the San Jose Police Department. Switching gears now, let's go to Morgan Hill, where a pack of roaming pigs is worrying residents. We've told you about the problem before, but new video shows these pigs have become bigger and more aggressive. We're talking about pigs ranging from 300 to 500 pounds. And I just can't believe that they're not, they're not really afraid of anything. You know, usually they'll hide or something like that. You can scare them off, but they only run a couple feet. I literally have to chase them out of the yard. Residents say wildlife officials haven't been very responsive, but they hope the Santa Clara Valley Water District can help since they believe the problem started with the draining of the Anderson Reservoir. However, the water district is throwing it over to the state, saying it's their responsibility, not the water districts or the counties. All right, take a look at this. You recognize it, right? Of course, it's Alcatraz Island, an iconic part of San Francisco. On Thursday, the former maximum security prison celebrated 50 years since it turned into a national park. Ever wonder what the island was like back in the day? Well, NBC Bay Area got an interesting point of view. A Bay Area author was actually raised on the island while her father worked at the prison. She thinks turning it into a national park was a great way for Americans to see the island a little differently. Let's listen. Uh, so there were, there were rules on the island that we had to uh, obey, but by and large, it was a wonderful place to grow up. It was what I call a low crime neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> and it was it was a lot of fun. Wow, I'm sure she has some fascinating stories. For a closer look, go to NBCBayArea.com. All right, guys, that is it for me today. Thanks for watching.